bill we're calling the CHUMP Act, and it's H.R. 4615, and it requires the dentist uh, to give to the patients an FDA-approved uh, fact sheet about the dental fillings, all of them, and it also requires uh, the manufacturers to place a toxic substance warning on their product. My co partner on this is Dan Burton, a conservative Republican, but he believes in what we're trying to do, and that is to provide as much information to the patients as possible. What the bill actually does, it says a patient has the right to know, and you have a responsibility to inform if you are a medical provider. Simply, that is what the bill would do. Now, I was working the floor today to get more signatures on the bill, and people are hesitant. So I said, here's the letter that explains everything. Here's the bill that explains. We'll call your office and see. They want to find out. A lot of people say, well, you know, my dentist says I don't have to do this, or, oh, I got a contribution. Politics as usual. I said, well, think of what's in the best interest of the patients. What happens is they go to the member's office, you know, in their own district, and they say, oh, do you have a fundraiser? And we'd like to come. And they come, you know. And then maybe several weeks later, they come back and they said, you know, we oppose this junk bill. And so nothing about the fundraiser and all, but you can see how they work it. And I've had members come to me on the floor to take my name off. I said, have the facts changed? No, just take my name off. I, I just think that it's a crime uh, to shield people from the truth when it comes to their own health. And I wouldn't be sitting here talking to you if we had more ethical practice of medicine and dental care. And uh, you know, you can always find a way to profit off of somebody else's ill illness or ill faith and so on. And I think that's despicable. And so, you know, let the patient decide whether they want to pay more money to take this toxic substance out of their mouth. And as it relates to other acts, I think the FDA really needs a lot of change and they need to have higher standards and I have not been happy with him for many a decade.